talked before about being grateful here for things you have. And I was thinking today um, about being grateful for the things you had, past tense, because that is something that is tough for me, because you want to change how you've done things, you want to change the past, and you want things back that are gone, whether that's friends, people who may have sadly deceased, or anything pretty scary and bad like that, but, I mean, you can't, you can't change the past, it would be silly to, and making mistakes is very formative and pretty good for your brain. It's not ideal, and it may seem shitty, and sometimes it can do big damage to your brain, and it can be too much, but I don't know, if you think about it, when you've recovered from anything, you'd kind of rather be yourself recovered than it when it never happened. I'm sure people would disagree with that, but you can't really help other people unless you've gone through some stuff yourself. Not saying that, because it can be kind of poo to hear. Oh, I've been through that as well, so your thing is invalid. Not so much that, but it's just good to validate any poo stuff people have been through. Even if people are doing poo stuff to you, it's probably for a, for a reason like there's something wrong with them, so, and they need help with it, so it's just good to be grateful for the things you had, like, um, like Lego Island, because Lego Island 2 doesn't work on my, my PC anymore, because it's too new, so I can't play Lego Island anymore, Lego Island 2 to be specific, it just doesn't work properly, but I had fun playing it before, and so if I can't play it now, it's like, oh, that's a nice little memory. You know? I mean, like, I probably wouldn't play it for that long now anyway. And I probably wouldn't appreciate it as much. So that's cool. I'll play some other games and think about Lego Island 2. Bye.